We got the results back on my genetic testing where I was being tested for breast cancer and I have got fantastic news that I have to share. Well, hi, this is Gail. Welcome to my Bodacious channel. For those of you who are new and this is your first video, I have been going through a breast cancer scare. So when I found the lump in my breast, I had the biopsy done and that came back precancerous. Along with that, there's been lots and lots of testing and they recommended some genetic testing. And after a long drag it out saga with one company, the geneticist sent me to Invite and let me tell you, they have been phenomenal. So on top of things, very, very professional. I went into the hospital, had the labs drawn, the geneticist sent them off. Three weeks later, I got the results, which I am sharing with you today. Now I have to tell you, they looked at 84 different genes and none of them, none of them came back defective. So I do not have the breast cancer genes at all. So I was really surprised that I did not have the gene, but very, very grateful. My mother had breast cancer and passed away from it. And there are lots of people on her side of the family that have different cancers that are related to breast cancer. And it's on my dad's side of the family too. So let me tell you, this is a huge relief. But what was at risk if I had the defective gene is I would have been looking at a double mastectomy and surgeries to rebuild afterwards. So without having the gene, I do not have to worry about any of that. So I do have a little bit of an increased risk just because my mother had breast cancer, but not enough to warrant surgery right now. If another lump does ever manifest, there may be more lumpectomies. The partial mastectomy that I had may still be in the future since I had a precancerous mass, but not having the gene is huge. Plus, I have daughters and they don't have to worry as much. So how did my mother have breast cancer and I don't? Well, part of this they say is environmental, but the theory also is that my mother may well have had a defective gene that she just did not pass on to me. I do have a playlist with all of my health updates. So if you kind of want to go back and see what it was like at the beginning and what kind of tests, those are all in my health update playlist, which I'm going to link down below. So for those of you all who have been on this journey with me, could not have gotten through this as well as I did without your support. And a big shout out to my husband for going through all of this with me. I love you, honey. And you all who have supported me, you are rock stars in my book. And with this all behind me, I get to get back on the road to do the travel videos, van life, product reviews, and the service dog videos that you all have come to love and expect on this channel. Now, I invite you to subscribe if you have not already done so. And thank you all so much for following me on this journey. And don't forget, we are always about the hashtag be bodacious, which means you're not going to let life get in the way of living. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next video. Bye.